and then 1.3 the graph shows the graph below shows incense per liter very um very very common for us to be asked something in cents per liter and not rands per liter it means somewhere somehow we're going to be asked um to do the conversions some way somehow okay the prices of three types of fuel in Gauteng um, for the first three months of 2022. So that's the year of 2022. Gauteng fuel prices, we've got our title up there. If you were asked to draw the graph um, and there was no title, you would get a mark just by giving a title. So that's a free mark again. So Gauteng fuel prices for the first three months of 2022. Um, and then it says there, cents per liter, again, very important this, very, very important. Because if it says cents per liter and we are asked to convert it to rands, we already know that this is going to be 5 rand, this is going to be 10 rand, this is going to be 15 rand, this is going to be 20 rand, this is going to be 25 rand. I hope you get the concept of what I'm trying to do here, meaning it's going to be those prices um, per liter. So we've got the months of January, February, and March. And then the, 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 the beautiful thing here is that we are given keys, okay? So we know this is diesel. So this is diesel. And then we know that the plain one is going to be LRP. And then we know that this is going to be um, ULP. So We've got the lead and so on there. So my, my, my petrol knowledge is not that brilliant. Oh, there it's written. So the, the, the little note there is that lead replacement petrol and unleaded petrol. So who, it's not really important for you to know the difference and so on, unless we are asked. Let's go and see. <laughs> Name the type of graph drawn below. Again, um, a quick side note when it comes to graphs. Do not walk into a mathematical literacy exam, especially paper one, without knowing the types of graphs and the difference between the types of graphs. Because sometimes people uh, mix up a histogram and a bar graph. Know the difference. Every time, it catches people every single time. Know the difference between a histogram and a bar graph. So let's see here. It says, name the type of graph drawn above. So this graph is a bar graph. How do we know it's a bar graph? The properties of a bar graph say that it does not touch this axis. Okay? And the properties of a bar graph says that it's got spaces between the bars. It's very, um, like it's very likely that you would mistaken this for a histogram because of these bars there but the spaces are what determine the type of graph that it is so now because there's one two three in one bar graph this is called a multiple bar graph multiple bar graph also um do not be scared to just say bar graph if you are not sure of that word you'll still get your marks so don't be too scared in terms of that and then identify the type of fuel that costs the most in february so let's go to february this is february it so because that's february this one costs the most in february and the one that costs the most in february is the one with the lines so it's the ULP, 95 ULP. So you can write it out as a full word or you can leave it like that and you'll still get your two marks over there. Easy, easy. This was an easy paper. I hope that <laughs> those metrics did the most with it. The price of diesel in March 2022 um, was 1,955.28 cents. So automatically that tells you it's not in rands yet. Okay. Converting rands to cents uh, or cents to rands, I'm sorry. You are just going to move it one, two. So it's 19 rand 55, basically. Write this price in rand per liter. Look, even before I was asked, rand per liter, round off your answer to the nearest 50 cents. 
ah guys you need to know how to round off so important so in cents it's 1955,25 cents okay but we want to um we want to make it rands so you divide it by 100 basically divide by 100 okay and if we are dividing anything by 100 we move backwards twice one two without using your calculator well you can use your calculator i mean to double check right don't be scared to use your calculator that's the reason why you have it okay so we want to now um, round this off to the nearest 50 cents. Ooh. So we need to see um, if we are counting in 50s. And that's how you can do it. What it means basically is that if I'm counting in 50s, what, what is it nearer to? Is it nearer to 50 cents or is it nearer to one rand? Does it make sense? So in this particular regard, um, if I'm counting in 50s, 50, 100. This means, is it nearer to 50 cents or is it nearer to 100? If I look at this number, it's nearer to 50 than it is nearer to 100. So this then would be 19 rand and 50 cents. Okay, so you need to see whether it's nearer to 50 or whether it's nearer to 100 when you are asked to calculate it to the nearest 50 there. And this is exactly how you would answer question one. Remember, it was out of 30 marks and you get 1,2 minutes for every single mark.